Hi guys, welcome back to another episode with me and Thea. So I wanted to give you kind of a, a quick little update on what's going on with me and Thea. Um, so Lynn and I are gonna make the final decision tonight. We're still discussing it, if she's coming or she's not coming. Um, we're looking at flights and cost of flights. <clears throat> I think um, if I fly with Thea, I'm probably going to bring her on the business class with me because I'll have more help um, from the attendants. And it's my first time flying with her. And her, I mean, it's her first time flying. And it's my first time, you know, you know, really taking care of her by myself. So I'm a little nervous. I have to say, I'll admit, I'm a, I'm a little, a little nervous traveling with her because. You know, if kids have meltdowns on a plane, what do you do? You know, um, I've been doing some research on tips for traveling with children and, you know, uh, some airlines don't even allow, allow kids in the uh, business class. Um, but I know that, I know that uh, PAL Airlines um, takes, takes kids in the business class. I've seen them there myself. <clears throat> so it's gonna be me and her. She'll have her own big jumbo, you know, seat. Um, I think she might have to sit on my lap during takeoff and landing. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, if, if it all comes to um, fruition, it'll be done tonight or tomorrow. Um, tickets will be bought today, today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, so. I don't think we'll be home back in the USA um, in time for Halloween, but uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be back there by Thanksgiving, uh, sometime before Thanksgiving. Um, so she'll spend uh, the holidays with me and my family, um, and then um, I don't know, you know, I'm coming back here to the Philippines with her in a, in a, in a few months after after we get there, you know. We're not going to be there too long. Uh, <clears throat> well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I mean, it's, you know, I think about six months we'll be there. <clears throat> um, I don't think Lynn's going to have her, her visa. What, baby? What happened? You don't like this show? You, want, you don't like this one? Okay, which one? You tired of the bear? Masha and the bear? I've been, I've been doing some research and I, I, I got a lot of tips online for traveling with toddlers. Um, bring a lot of snacks. Um, bring some small little, 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 you know, Dollar Tree type, you know, toys. You know, wrap them a little bit. Give them something to do, you know, like every time they get a little cranky, you bring out a new little toy, let them unwrap it, you know, keep her busy, keep her mind busy. Um, I'm going to get a coloring book, a couple of pieces of crayons. Uh, I'm going to bring all of her favorite snacks, her lollipops, her maybe some jelly beans, if I can find some, she likes those, and her um, flavored Mentos. So I'm going to try to, you know, pack enough snacks and and things to keep her busy on the flight. The good thing is, uh, most of the time, I mean, the good thing is that the flight is um, at night. So by the time you actually get on the plane, she's gonna be absolutely exhausted because we gotta fly from uh, Peng Lao to Manila. Okay, and it's an hour and a half. So it's like an hour at the airport, then an hour and a half on the flight. And then we get to Manila, we gotta take a cab a taxi over to another terminal. And then once we get to that terminal, we'll be waiting for about four to five hours for the flight. That's gonna be the tricky part, um, keeping her busy at the airport for four or five hours. I really don't know. Um, I don't think they have any lounges open. Um, I'll have to check when I get there if I can access um, the lounge. I'm not a member, um, but usually if you fly business class, they give you a voucher to get into the lounge. Um, come sit down with Daddy. Oh, okay. This is my train of thought. Um, so, you're gonna get on a plane. Yeah, you're gonna get on a plane? 
Ooh. Once you get on the plane, it's not going to be too, too, too bad. I don't think. I mean, it's the first couple hours is um, bringing out the food and stuff like that. If you're not going to be interested in any of that food, um, hopefully I'll be able to give her her milk on the plane. Um, I'm hoping that my idea of flying in the business class is going to work out and not backfire um, because the people there can be a little bit cranky if, if um, someone's, you know, making too much noise. Um, but I'm hoping I'll get support from the staff, which I think I will. Um, and, and, the, and the thing is, by the time we get on the plane, she's going to be passing out. She's going to, I'm going to put her, her thing down. Um, hopefully she'll be comfortable sitting in her own booth. Um, she might have to maybe, maybe get in mind a little bit. We'll see. I don't know. Um, and then she's gonna, I'm telling you, she's going to fall right asleep. And that's about eight hours right there. So the first two hours, uh, she'll, be, she'll be running around, maybe a little cranky, getting ready, getting settled in. And then boom, lights out, bed is down. And then you're looking at at least eight hours of sleep. And so that's, that's 10 hours right there. And then you got another six hours to go after she wakes up <clears throat> so we'll see it's a 16 hour flight and then we're gonna get in a car in new york and drive another three hours so you know that's it's gonna be it's gonna be it um i'm looking forward to spending some time with Thea in the usa uh i really am and i'm really heartbroken that lynn can't fly with us um, and it's really, there's really nonsense. It's no need for it. Um, we're married. Um, we have all the proof. Um, I don't understand. There's got to be better. They got to put a better system in place for people like me who have a spouse who uh, married in another country and they want to bring them back to the USA. I understand you got to go through the process of the green card and the visa. But I don't understand why she can't do it in the USA. Why can't she wait for that stuff in the USA? Fly with me. There's got to be some type of special uh, voucher or pass. I mean, they're bringing in people from all over the world, you know, uh, Afghans, all these people um, or crossing the border. And me, I can't bring my wife to the United States. It's really a, a, a scam. It's a sham. Um, and it's awful. So that's where I'm at. Um, Making a decision tonight. I'll let you guys know what we decide if uh, bringing her or not. I, honestly, in my brain, my mind, uh, I want to bring her, and I say maybe I should let her stay here. And then, you know, then I read some of the comments. People are like you got to bring her. She got to meet your parents. You know, my parents—they're not. I mean, they're old. Not old, old. I mean, my mother is more active than me, to be honest with you. Um, she goes to the gym every day, or at least she did um, before the pandemic. Um, my mom's very healthy. My dad too. He's just getting a little slower. Um, you know, he's slowing down a little bit. But um, you know, I don't. I mean, a big when you're in when you get older, a year makes a big difference. You know, as as to the amount of activity that you're gonna maybe be doing. And I want to bring her home, so my parents can enjoy her while they still can. While they still can, you know. Um, but I don't think Lynn's visas are going to be in for at least two years. I really do. People are like, what? Two years? They're like, no, that's not true. I'm like, I think it is. I really do. I just, I've been looking at the websites and I've been listening to reading some of the comments on forums and some people are, once your application goes to the uh, UCIS, uh, they it gets approved, it takes about six, they say it takes about six months to get it approved. And then from there, it goes to the National Visa Center. And so what I'm hearing is that people's uh, applications are being held up at the National Visa Center once it gets over there. And I've been reading that some people are still waiting 18 months uh, at the National Visa Center for their, uh, their approval, which once it gets approved, then you go for your interview in Manila. <clears throat> so I don't know, guys. I don't know how long that process is going to take. Um, you might be asking me, well, why are you doing all this? You know, why Why do you want to go back to the United States? You have a beautiful place in the Philippines. Um, 
Yeah, we do. I have a beautiful place in the Philippines. Uh, and we love it there. And it's my home. Um, it's my daughter's home. But I also have um, family back in the United States. Um, and I need to have Lynn go through this process of getting her green card and possibly, you know, down the road getting her USA citizenship so she can travel with me. So when we do things like this, when I need to go home for things, but we're traveling together as a family. And if Lynn doesn't go through this process of getting her visa, going, spending some time in the United States, she won't be able to do this, either now or in the future. You know, so so if you're asking me, well, why are you doing this? Now's not time to go to the USA. You know what? It's never a good time to go to the USA. Um, it's never going to be. Uh, things are not going to change here or in the USA. Um, we're always going to be dealing with this COVID thing. Okay? It's not going away. Um, so just get just get used to it. I mean, just get used to these protocols. Get used to these quarantines. Get used to it. Get used to it. Get used to it. It's not going away. <coughs> Um, it will eventually, but it might not go. It might not go away in our lifetime. I'll be honest with you. You might not see see this virus under control in our lifetime. That's that's just what I'm thinking. You, know, you believe all these government officials? Uh, forget about that. So that's it. Those are the reasons why I want to bring, why I want Lynn to get her visa, why I want to bring things to the USA. That's it. Uh, I hope this shed some light on what's going on and what, what we're thinking. So, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.